need to split up. There's much to do, and we don't want to arouse suspicion. Maybe some instructions first? I'm hoping your memory is better than the Zid's, Apostle. There's a tra I'll be looking for a turncoat in Old Town. Right. Unfortunately, that's all we know. Someone in Old Town spying for the Azadi. He... Or she! <sighs> probably frequents the magic ghetto, but he... Uh, she... must be human, or they could not be working with the Azadi. We also believe they attend National Front meetings. National Fronters are traitors, Azadi collaborators. Their leader, Honor Hillaris, holds regular secret meetings somewhere in the city. That's probably our best chance of identifying the traitor. Sneak into one of those meetings and identify our guy. Girl. Uh, woman. Person? I'll begin my investigations in the market. I'm supposed to visit someone called The Mole. A code name. This powerful man runs the criminal underworld in Old Town. Where can I find this man they call The Mole? Oh, it's not The Mole's a... burrow is right here in Shady Quay, Kian. Ah, right. Yes, Kian, you will find the Mole close by. He is close by this, this man who is called the Mole. Who is a human man, obviously. God save us from Zidlings and their lack of subtleties. The Mole operates an underground supply network out of the Magic Ghetto. We need food, medicine, and arms. And so we need to maintain uh, good relations. Whatever the Mole asks of you, do it. Without questions. It's time to get started. I'm ready. You're on your own now. Anu and I have other assignments tonight. Once you've identified the turncoat, I'll meet you in the magic market. It's not far from here. Follow this street into Old Town. Afterwards, we'll meet up at the Cock and Puss. The Rooster and Kitten. It's a tavern on I Reed Avenue, right off the Southgate Market. Ulvik, the publican, is a friend of the Resistance. I'm sure it's all very confusing right now, Kiam, but there are maps everywhere. You can't get lost. Well, you can probably get lost. Are you going to get lost? I'll find my way, Anu. Right, good luck, big guy. Guys, both of you... Oh. Goddess, forgive me for this. Hmm. Hmm. That tastes... pretty good, to be honest. Unless I make myself noticed, or meet someone who knows me well, I'll remain veiled. The mole's expecting you. You'll wait your turn in the back. Don't speak unless spoken to. And no funny business. All right? Merely an unfortunate side effect, Madam Mole. I... I don't expect... Unfortunate side effect? Is lot more than unfortunate side effect. Is mud-riddled catastrophe is what is. Everyone in bar sleep. Everyone who drink wine, close eyes and start snore. Not good for business. Well, yes, we put too much of the poppy stem in the mix. I blame the... Don't care. Responsibility on you. You cause disaster, you fix disaster. Poppy stem only to make wine more good, give spice, make more people buy wine. This, this make people not buy wine. This make people sleep and not drink any more wine, make people buy other wine. This is bad thing, not good thing, bad, bad thing. So, you fix. How you will fix? Oh, well, see, that's the problem. We've we've run out of poppy stem. It all... it went into that one shipment. Earth, save us from you lot. 
Without poppy stem, our wine just wine. Nothing extra, no spice. Very well. You get even song from City Green. It grow there. Goat eat it. Goat love it. Goat get dizzy and fall over. Goat never know when enough is enough. Not same as poppy stem even song, but we'll do for now. Make wine more special again. Thank you, madam. I'll... Mix right amount next time. Not too little or no spice and not too big or everyone go sleep. And if everyone sleep, you sleep. You sleep long sleep. Final sleep. Um, oh, right. God, yes, yes, I... Thank you, my lady, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing, Azadi? Hmm? Come out of shadow. Let me see you. Maybe she wasn't informed of my visit. Maybe she has no idea I'm with the Resistance and believes that I represent the Azadi. The creature clearly harbors a lot of animosity towards my people. Perhaps that's understandable. But if she only sees me as the enemy, it'll be impossible to come to terms. She must know who I am and why I'm here. We need your help. You need something. I need something. Everyone needs something. Let me tell you how my operation work. You do something for me, I do something back. His only way is never first, never, never first, because I am the mole. So sing your song, let me know what you need, and then hear what I need. Come on, come on. I'm asking for help to fight the Azadi. Wouldn't that count as doing for you? But you are Azadi. I am. An apostle. I was. <laughs> I not like human. A Zardi, they are worst of lot. How I know a Zardi not playing me? How I know you not playing me? Goddess, save us all. I am Kian Alvani. I was the apostle, but now I'm a rebel. I'm here to make my people leave the Northlands and return to Azadir, and to ensure our so-called leaders stand trial for their crimes. I don't know. Smell like trap. But let us pretend you speak truth. What you want with the mole? I was told you could help us with weapons and supplies. Maybe the mole can help with weapon, maybe she cannot. But before this question answered, you help me with something. Scratch back. Scratch? It's just saying. Not want your oversized hand all over back. Favour for me. Favour for you in turn. What do you need? Need to intercept runner. Messenger who pass word between guard station and city. There is letter I need. You help Mole do this. Mole will consider your problem. I can do that. Good for you, Apostle no more. One condition. This runner. You will not hurt him. I will not. Why not? They use young men for runners. Boys. They have fought no battles, killed no rebels or magicals. They don't deserve to die. They are still enemy. I need your promise. I promise, I promise. No one hurt your little runner. My man there will mark place on map where runner pass. From there you find place to take message from runner with no guard watching. Remember, no one must see. Very important, this. You take letter from runner, we get letter from you, everyone goes separate way, everyone happy. When job done, talk to the mole again. The mole will be ready to talk business. I wonder what sort of magical this one is. I've heard soldiers returning from the northern forests talk about the mole people who burrow into the mud. There's much to do before the night is over. I'll be on my way. Go. Shoot. Leave. 
You know, door. Easy to find. Still open. You do know that you're in the magic ghetto, right? It's just that you don't look like you're from the ghetto. tried to steal my purse. So? You're a Zardi. That's the worst excuse ever for stealing a purse. You could get your arm chopped off. So far, so good. Lucky for you, I'm not a Zardi. Now scram. How tall are you? You're really tall. Leave me alone, boy. You're a lot taller than my dad. Are you sure you're not a Zardi? Yes. You look a Zardi. Are you a soldier? Why aren't you in uniform? Are you secret police? What? No. Run off before I lose my patience with you. You sure look like one of them. Oh, for the love of the goddess. What's your name, boy? Bip. Bip? Yeah. So? You should be with your mother, Bip. Not out on your own, thieving. Go home. Can't. I ain't got one. I'm sorry. You should still not... They're not dead or anything. Uh, my parents. They were just sent to Guillen. Guillen. That's where the Magicals are sent. They don't come back from there. But the boy must know this already. He must have seen it happening to others. The boy probably has no idea what happens on Guillen. I shouldn't be the one to tell him. What are they doing on Guillen? Re-education camp. That's what my father said. They probably didn't listen very well in school when they were children. They'll be back, when they've been properly re-educated. No one comes back from the islands. Not magicals. What do you mean? I mean... Are you saying they're going to stay there forever? He's only a boy. But so was I when I became an orphan. No one protected me from the truth. The boy can't be more than ten. He doesn't need to know the truth just yet. I'm sure they're coming back. You don't believe that? I do not. So why are you lying to me? To protect you from the truth. I don't need to be protected. I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can. So what's going to happen to them? You shouldn't think of such things. Do you have no family here? Not in Mercuria. They're all in the Southlands. What's going to happen to them? They will be put to work. That's what the prison camps are for. To keep the Magicals away from humans. To segregate them. Segregate? To keep Magicals apart from humans. Forever. You're lying. I am not. Truly. You're one of them. Why are you here? Are you going to take me and send me to be a segregate? Segregate. Segregated. Two. I'm not one of them. Well, you sure look and sound like them. I'm sorry about your parents, but I have things I need to do. Are you with the resistance? Uh, resistance? Well, of course not. I'm. Because I ever heard someone saying there's an Azadi in the resistance now. And if you're Azadi and you're here and you have things to do, that sounds an awful lot like you're with the resistance. Keep your voice down, boy. Don't worry. Everyone in Old Town supports the Resistance. Most everyone, anyway. What do you mean by most everyone? 
I mean that there are some who don't support the resistance, some who sneak off to National Front assemblies, some who rat out rebels to the Azadi. Do you know anyone like that? No. Well, I don't know their faces, but I know where there's a National Front assembly tonight. Show me. What? Show me where. I get to go on a mission with you. That's... that's... so incredibly cool! Calm down, boy. I just want you to tell me where it is. How well do you know the city? Well, not... very. Right. So I'll show you. Too complicated to tell you. It's not safe. For you? No. For me? I leave the ghetto all the time when it's dark. I know where to go, where the guards are posted, their patrol routes, everything. I'm like a rogue, one with the shadows, the veiled avenger. I'm an assassin. Uh... But just show me the way, and then you're coming straight back here. I'll just stay for a little while. Straight back. Or I find someone else to take me. Good luck with that. But fine, I'll come straight back. Are you ready? Can we go now? I should explore first, and maybe do some of my other tasks. There's no reason to delay this mission. Let's go. Yes! Follow me! My table's always open, day and night. We need to leave the ghetto. How will you get past the guards? I know a way. Meet me on the other side. Wait, what? The other side! Did you hear the one about the magical? If you're a ghost, just leave me be! Avoid the shadows, there may be magical. See? Easy. Gotta save us. You're playing with your life, boy. I don't need a goddess to save me. I'm very good at climbing. How did you escape the keep? What? I, I didn't. How do you know about that? Oh, everyone knows the Apostle escaped the keep on the night of his execution. There's even a puppet show about it. Shadow, take me. And why do you think I'm that Azadi? Mysterious Apostle guy escapes the keep. Mysterious Azadi joins the resistance a few days later. I may only be ten years old, and I may have purple skin, but I'm nobody's fool. Clearly. This is it. This is where they have their meetings and speeches and stuff. Are you sure? Positive. Sometimes I listen in. They talk about magicals and about how we've ruined the world and taken everything from them. It makes me sad listening to that. I didn't know magicals were so bad. No wonder humans hate us. We don't... Look, boy. Bip. Those people are not good people. You have done nothing wrong. You can't help the way you look or the color of your skin. How and where you've been born doesn't make you a bad person or less of a person. It just makes you you. It's what you do with your life that matters. Now, Scram, get out of here. Go back and be careful. But... You promised. No arguments. Fine, fine. What? A tip would be appreciated. In recognition of all my hard work. <laughs> You're really something. Here. Now run back, you little thief. Greetings, brother. What? Who's there? God damn it. You gave me a right scare, mate. Where in the Seven Hills did you come from? The Shadows. Step aside, I'm late for the assembly. Right, of course. Blood and land, brother. The important thing is not what I say, but how I say it. I must appear forceful and show that I belong at this assembly. We'll keep this simple. The obvious answer to blood and land is blood and land. Yeah, all right. Wait, that's my line. What's the passphrase? Blood and 
You don't belong here. This is a private gathering. You people ought to be ashamed of yourselves. How dare you put this muck on my door? Just because I'm human, don't mean I'm interested in your specious propaganda. I've lived next door to Dolmari most of my life, and they've never once done me or mine any harm. Here's what I think of your so-called humanist rally. And your honour Hilaris can go fuck himself. He's a traitor. You all are. When the Azadi finally pack up and leave, we will remember what you've done. Be sure of that. Honor and... what? There's a word missing. It's disgusting what's going on in there. Them bad-mouthing magicals like they're the problem. Excuse me. Balance! Where did you come from, eh? I didn't even see ya. What do you want? I don't want no trouble. That piece of paper you tore. Do you have the other half? What piece of... The National Front Flyer? Why? Who are you? Someone who's on your side. Why, well, I don't know. You sound as Ardy to me. What do you want that flyer for? Long story. I need it to find a traitor. A traitor to the rebel cause. Oh, right. Well, if it means getting back at that National Front filth, then by all means. Take it. And Balance bless you for standing up to those bastards. Honor and humanity. It's the slogan used by the National Front. That must be the passphrase I need to get into the meeting. Step aside, brother. Guts! You snuck up on me. Blood and land. Blood, land, honor and humanity. That's what these people claim to care about. They cling to their slogans like drowning men cling to driftwood. Honor and humanity. Faith and family, brother. Go on through, mate. The meeting's already begun. If you haven't seen Mr. Illyris speak before, you're in for a proper treat. That man is an example to us all. Brothers. Sisters. Cousins. Brave. Humble human folk. Welcome to this meeting of the National Front for Faith and Family. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity of your time. Thank you for braving these ill-lit occult courts in your tireless search for truth. Yes. Oh, yes. Despite the selfless work of our benefactors, the enemy lurks out there. In the shadows. Look about. Look. Fear them, the enemy. For they are close. They are everywhere. There's nothing unusual about that person. I smell them. Do you know There's smell? nothing unusual about that, that person. Foreign spice magic. She's humming Feel to herself. It's a tune it I recognize. My heart to see you a standing sweet lullaby. Standing up for what's nothing good. Nothing in particular and stands fair. out. Glory, cousins. Glory be upon goddess. you. In the light of the goddess. Odor. Yes. He can't have changed his yes. clothes or taken a bath I spoke in months. Recently with well, our he must be wearing leather undergarments. They make an unpleasant creaking magical. noise. His yes. left arm keeps yes. twitching. Yes. He appears to have some sort I of muscular them. dysfunction. Said, Listen to these he smells brain. of lavender oil. Oh, Maybe he's Humans a physician. Brought to their knees by Nothing the in magical. particular stands out. Driven to bankruptcy, to moral corruption. Her posture is odd. 
simple. It's almost like she's tilting slightly to one side. Led astray by the devilish, demonic, Her magical. clothes smell strongly of tar and smoke. She must I be a factory them, worker. I said, we need to make a stand. There's nothing now. unusual about that person. Now! We need There's to nothing rally unusual about that behind person. Behind our benefactors, behind our own. And nothing in particular them, stands said, out. What you need, what they need, what we need. There's nothing need. unusual about that person. Someone to stand up and speak their human cause. He reeks of tobacco. The true and that a dear variant, Mark unless Urien. my nose deceives me. Someone not afraid of the magical. Smoke this. Kindly, thank you. No, no, it's important that we stand together, hand in hand, with our benefactors. Yes. I speak regularly with the Azadi. I visit the tower often. Yeah. I, I've even On broken Hillary. fast with our bastion. He leads this Arnie national Roman. front for faith and family. No, yeah, no one says we have to abandon. Our Where have you been? Where have you been? At a National Front meeting, identifying your turncoat. Uh, it takes a traitor to find a traitor. Think you can point him out for us? I can. Go on then, before we lose him. National Front Assembly. He looks somewhat familiar. I'm putting him down as a suspect. His skin appears red and blistered. Perhaps he spent too much time in the sun. His breathing is heavy and wet. Tasty I'm certain I've seen sandwiches. that man somewhere before. I've got tasty sandwiches. Nibbles, scrub, tasty morsels. He smells faintly of camphor or the pine forests of the north. Maybe lavender oil. Ah! Easy, pal! You people, where are you taking me? You got a wrong man. Something tied you over before tea. Watch your back in there. You can't trust the magicals. That's the boy I'm supposed to intercept. Did 
for me, Doc. Keep it safe and make it quick. I'll see that it's delivered, Doc. see. Which way is it again? So hard to see anything in this light. Right, left. Left's right. Uh, um, uh, left. The sign reads, Earthrin's Ascent. It says, Watcher's Court. See, wait, wasn't it left? Not right. Right, don't sound right. But hey, signs never lie. Right it is. This don't look right. After my shift's over, I think I'll head down to... If you're a ghost, just leave me be!
the Azadi return to get proverbial back scratched. The mole deceived me. She said the runner would be unharmed and yet they killed him. I can see no reason for his murder other than vengeance and cruelty. How can I trust someone like that? I can't let this lie pass, or I will appear weak. There's no need to antagonize the mole. If I want her to give us weapons, I must play by her rules, no matter how deceptive she may be. And my mission was to get the weapons, not to spare a runner's life. He was just a boy. He'd harmed no one. Does she hate the Azadi so much that she's been completely blinded? Why did you have the runner killed? Good question. Why did Azadi see the need to kill Banda children? Because one day they think Banda children grow to be Banda women and men, and then they come for Azadi. Better make sure this never happened. If she has something on her mind, I should let her speak. We have no time for this. I know my people have committed atrocities. We are not the only ones. What's important now is to make sure this never happens again. And we need this one's help to win the war. What about the rest of our agreement? I may not honor that part of the arrangement, but I will honor most important part. Your resistance will get weapon. All the weapon I have to give. I still need some for my men. Sharpest sword, swiftest axe, strongest bow. But the rest go to your people. Not your people, Azadi. Your people rebel movement, otherwise would be silly. Of course. Thank you. My men will be in touch with your women, and also men. Leave now, Azadi is dark and late, and I will sleep. Sleep and dream of happier day in Burrow to the north, where laughter of children fill every tunnel. Dream of friend and of family, while I mourn them all. He keeps an eye on me at all times. The mole's well protected.